and welcome to our Advanced Security in Acumatica snapshot. I'm Bob Scott. I work with NIMS and Associates, and I help install and implement Acumatica ERP system. The agenda is going to be talking about the difference between role-level security and row-level security. We're going to be setting up and configuring row-level security, and there's a new feature in companies and groups in Acumatica that allows for limiting customers and vendors by branch that we'll be covering as well. The differences between role and row level security. Row level security is considered standard security in Acumatica. Row level security is a deeper level of security. So when you think of role, R-O-L-E, level security, think of limiting what users can get into what screens and what options within the screens a particular user can access. Role level security, on the other hand, means that we are actually limiting what record a user can see. So for example, if a particular user doesn't have access to a particular customer or vendor, that customer or vendor would not appear on the user's screens, lookups, reports, generic inquiries, etc. So Acumatica has this feature called row level security where you can actually limit transactions and records on a user by user basis. Very, very cool feature. If I limit a customer so that a particular user cannot see that customer, it also limits all of that customer's transactions. So if that user that's being limited goes to print an AR aging report, let's say, that customer will not appear on there. Or if they go to look at a generic inquiry, and that customer may appear for me, but it will not appear for that user. Row level security respects that security throughout the system on all reports and generic inquiries. Standard user security means that we set up users, and users are assigned to roles. Therefore, that's why we call it role level security, R-O-L-E. These are examples of Acumatica roles. So this user can design reports. It's an internal user, financial supervisor. Those roles indicate to Acumatica what screens and functions within screens this particular user can get into. This type of security, user-based or role-based security, has no say on what type of transaction this user can see once they get into a screen. Role-level security, on the other hand, will limit transactions once a user gets into a screen. And it's up to you on how you want to define what transactions a user can see. So for example, built in with Acumatica, you can limit that certain sub account or general ledger account or branches or customers or vendors can be hidden from particular users using row level security. Setup and configuration of row level security is fairly simple, but it can be complex and it can be pretty deep. Row level security is initially established through the role level security tile on the configuration menu in Acumatica. The first step in establishing role level security is to consider and plan to put this in. So for example, the example that I'm going to use now dictates that I would like to hide certain segments of a sub account from certain users, depending on what branch they can get into. So the first step in that is to say, okay, by what groups do I want to establish role level security? And that's set up in restriction groups. In restriction groups, I can set up different groups that users ultimately will belong to. So for example, in this iteration, users would be able to put in sub accounts belonging to these different departments if they were belonging to those departments. Setting up a restriction group is pretty easy. It's the name of the restriction group, whether the group type is going to be an A or a B, and really that just means whether 
records are going to be inclusive or exclusive when you're either showing or hiding certain records. So you can see that in this case, I've set up three different restriction groups. Once restriction groups are established, and then you need to assign restriction groups to entities in Acumatica. Now they call entities in Acumatica, think of vendors, customers, inventory items, GL accounts, sub accounts as being entities. Now, in this case, we're trying to hide segments of a sub account from certain users. I would choose restriction groups by sub segment. The segment we're trying to hide is segment number one. And in this case, I can say that the first segment of the sub account, 10, can only be seen by this department. Additional departments can be assigned to different restriction groups, and their appearance will be dictated by their membership within the restriction group. To illustrate how row-level security works with purchase orders, this user that I'm logged in as is only allowed to enter certain types of sub-accounts depending on the department that he belongs to. A department has been established as a row-level security group. On a purchase order that this person would be entering, his sub-accounts are limited to only values that he is allowed to see. These values are limited and he can't even see ones that he shouldn't be entering sub-accounts for. Company groups for customers and vendors. In Acumatica, there's a very cool feature where under enable and disable features, you can limit what customers and vendors are seen by which branches in Acumatica. So the feature that you can turn on to do that is called customer and vendor visibility restriction. What that means is that in configuration for companies and branches, you can designate that a company is part of a group. And when those companies are part of a group, you can actually limit what vendors and customers are seeing as part of that group. Let's say I've got several different companies or several different branches. I can group the several branches and companies together and that group can see this particular customer, but other people can't. How that manifests itself is that when the customer and vendor restrictions feature is turned on, customers and vendors will then have a new field at their disposal. On the financial tabs for customers and vendors, there's a field that says restrict visibility to. I can then select individual branches and customers or groups of branches and companies that this customer can then be seen by. Thank you for watching this snapshot. If you appreciate these snapshots, like, share, and subscribe. You can contact NIMS and Associates at erp at nimsassociates.com or call us at 877-454-3200, extension 6346.